Good morning. On day 25 of our Bible reading plan, we get to a section in the Bible about the Holy Spirit. And John has a special word that he uses to describe the Holy Spirit. That is paraclete. Uh, you may have heard that one before. It is translated in different ways. The word comes from uh, a combination of being called and next to. So, the word picture is that the Holy Spirit is called to be right next to us. And the Bible uses this five times, four times right here in these three chapters, the book of John. And then the final time is actually in the epistle of John, 1 John. He uses it one time. And it's translated comforter. It's translated uh, counselor. It's also translated advocate as it usually is in 1 John. But these are all descriptions of his role to come and stand next to us. Now, the Holy Spirit is God. He is the third person of the Trinity, and he is fully God. He is the God that we know that lives with us now, uh, because he came after Jesus was ascended to heaven. So Jesus is now at the right hand of God, and the presence of God that we have on earth is the Holy Spirit. Um, I do want to go back and clarify. For the last three days, a little concept has been coming into our, into our reading. The concept of praying in Jesus' name. It's in chapter 4, verse 14. It's in chapter 15, verse 16. And it's here again in chapter 16, down in verse 23. And if we read only a verse and think about a verse in its, uh, just pluck it out of its context, context and, and just say it over and over again, we would get the idea that God is giving us a blank check. If you ask anything in my name, I will give it to you. And when we think of those, that's we kind of are conditioned to think that that is anything you want. You just ask for it, you get it. Well, we want to say anything you want, but what the Bible says is anything in my name. And this does not mean you can pray for what you want and then stick on, in Jesus' name, amen, and then get it. That is not the case at all. When we pray in Jesus' name, we have to pray for what Jesus would ask for, what Jesus would would do for us. We are praying representing Jesus. That's in his name. So if we carry our prayer to God in Jesus' name, we're praying for his authority. With his authority, we're praying for his will as his representative. So... This means we pray in Jesus' name is the same as praying, thy will be done. Okay? He comes to indwell Christians to show us his will for us and help us to know how we can pray in Jesus' name. Be blessed.